guys, it's Mish, and today I wanted to share a paper on how subjects were able to lose weight without trying while eating as much as they wanted. So these researchers took subjects that were on a moderate carb diet, so about 35 to 55% carbs, and were at the highest weight of their lives, but were maintaining it. So they took these subjects, and for two weeks they put them on a higher fat diet at 35% fat and 45% carbs, and put them on an amount of calories that had them maintaining their weight still. And then for the next two weeks, they put them on a high-carb, low-fat diet of 15% fat and 65% carbs, and on the same number of calories. So what they did is they gave the subjects pre-packaged foods and instructed them to eat all of them and nothing else. So that way they could really be sure that they were eating precisely those macronutrients and the same number of calories. And then for the next 12 weeks, they kept them on the high-carb diet, but then they told them to eat as much as they wanted. And the key was they told them, eat as much as you want, but just stop when you're full. So pretty much they told them to do intuitive eating principles. So for those first four weeks of eating a weight-maintaining diet, either high-carb or high-fat, alternated, the subjects did not lose any weight because they weren't supposed to. However, when they were on the high-carb diet, the researchers said that the subjects uniformly reported feeling uncomfortably full. So when they were eating the same number of calories on a high-carb diet as they were on the higher-fat diet, they felt uncomfortably full on the high-carb diet, even though they were still just maintaining their weight. So that's really telling and explains why, when they were allowed to eat whatever they want, they voluntarily reduced their calories by 16% without even trying to lose weight or intending to do it. In fact, the researchers made sure to instruct the subjects not to try to lose weight, not to increase their physical activity, not to do anything differently besides just eating as much as they want. So during that 12-week high-carb, eat-as-much-as-you-want portion of the study, all the subjects lost weight. However, two of them had to be excluded because the researchers were worried that they were trying to lose weight because they lost so much. So the main point of the study for the researchers was to determine what kind of hormone changes were going on in the subjects' bodies during this high-carb diet and how it differed from the higher-fat slash normal American diet. So they found that during this 12-week weight loss period, which is the period where they're eating as much as they wanted, <laughs> they found that the leptin concentrations of the subjects fell. And leptin, as I discussed in a video a couple months ago, if you want to check that out, is a ho hunger hormone that is responsible for making you feel full. And it is created slash directly correlated with your body fat stores and if you've eaten recently. And so the researchers found that leptin fell in the weight loss group, as is to be expected, but it stayed perfectly proportional to body fat percent. When you lose weight, you lose a bunch of fat, right? And so those fat cells are no longer causing you to produce slightly extra leptin. However, usually when you're on a diet, the fact that you are losing weight causes your leptin to fall even more than can be explained by body fat because you're restricting your calories. And that's a reason why diets so often fail. However, on the high carb diet, you did not see that additional decrease in leptin, meaning it was easier to maintain over time and didn't result in hunger. The researchers also concluded that the subject's leptin sensitivity increased while on the high carb, low fat diet which means that for the same amount of circulating leptin, these people felt more full and less hungry than someone else with the same amount of leptin, because the leptin in the high-carb people gave them more of a response, in a way. So while more leptin means less hunger, more ghrelin, which is another hunger hormone, means more hunger. And the researchers found that ghrelin suppression, which means lowering ghrelin, aka lowering hunger, was highest while on the high-carb diet, both in the isocaloric period in the first two weeks and during the 12-week period when they were losing weight. So this means that a high-carb diet was suppressing hunger even though they were eating a calorie restricted in a way because they were losing weight diet. So it seems that the reason these subjects were able to lose weight while eating as much as they want was that their hunger hormones were not impacted in a way that made them hungry, but rather the high carbs made the hunger hormones make people less hungry. So they were able to reduce their calorie intake by 16% without trying at all and while eating until they were feeling stuffed and happy. And for those of you who may have heard that eating carbs increases your insulin and can give you diabetes, these researchers seem to find the opposite in that insulin levels actually decreased during the high-carb diet and insulin sensitivity increased. And so the reason people often say to cut out your sugar and to exercise and lose weight and all these things is to increase insulin sensitivity because it sort of undoes and prevents diabetes. So it seems that a high-carb diet not only does not give you diabetes, but it might actually help you reverse it if you're pre-diabetic or just prevent it by increasing your insulin sensitivity. 
So once again, this is another study that supports why high-carb diets work and allow people to eat as much as they want, whenever they want, whatever they want, while losing weight without trying. And although this one sounds quite a bit like some past ones I presented, it's important to look at multiple studies on something because sometimes if you only have one study on something, it could be a fluke. And so the fact that there are so many studies supporting this suggests that it's a really robust effect and will probably apply to you too, considering it applied to all these subjects. So it seems like a high carb diet, along with eating whatever you want in an intuitive eating sort of way, can result in really easy, effortless weight loss and some really favorable changes to your hormones. And if you have any questions, feel free to just ask them in the comments below and I'll try to dig up some papers and research on it. Hope this was interesting to you and thanks so much for watching. Please share or subscribe to see more videos, I'd really appreciate it.